Seasonal color analysis is a tool designed to help us identify the colors that will be in harmony with our hair color, our eye color, and our skin color. Now, this isn't anything new. It's something you're probably familiar with, especially if you've ever heard someone say, I'm a winter, I'm a spring, I'm a summer. And essentially, it takes all of those factors into consideration to find something that will balance all of them together. So today, we're gonna go over a quick rundown of what that theory is, how you can use it for yourself to enhance your personal wardrobe and on days when you're feeling really lazy but you still want to look great, and then also how it's useful when you shop because it's easier to fall to a fall prey to marketing and good styling if you aren't aware of color theory. So let's get started. Seasonal color analysis is a theory that all colors are broken into two main categories and can be identified accordingly. So these two sections are either hue, which is cool or warm, and then value, which is either light and dark. And identifying which of these your hair, eyes, and skin fall under results in four harmonious color groups named after the four seasons, so winter, spring, summer, and autumn. So now let's go over the million dollar question, what season am I? And this is kind of difficult at first, but once you start training your eye, it's really, really easy. And I find it's something that's really easy to do just by holding up different colors to your face. It's the way that I was able to identify for myself and also just asking a friend. So first things first, you need to identify your undertone and to determine whether your skin is warm or cool or neutral, which we'll get to in just a second, you can do the white paper test. And this is something that really allows the natural colors in your skin to come through because pure white will make you look either pink or yellow, depending on your undertone. And then if you just kind of look the same, you probably have neutral undertone. I've gone over how to look for this in a lot more detail in a video. I'll link it here for you. But there are so many tutorials online. This is something really helpful to ask a friend. And then also holding your arm up against someone else is a really great way. So me and my two sisters, we all have very different skin colors and undertones. And when we put our arms together, it's amazing how obvious it is for each of our undertones. Now, before we move on, I want to include a special caveat for olive skin since I have olive skin um, it's something that's very confusing and not talked about a lot so I want to throw in some pointers here a lot of people think that olive skin olive skin is actually warm and that's because many of us with olive skin have a yellow overtone but that's not to be confused with your undertone and your undertone is what matters in color theory that's the color that really manipulates the colors you wear on top of your skin so in its heart olive skin is cool because blue especially when mixed with a yellow overtone gives you that green color so i know when i learned that it was life-changing so if you're having a really hard time figuring out what you fit into and maybe you think you're olive but you're not positive try playing around with some cool colors and I think you'll really be amazed. You'll see very clearly that you are olive if you put on a cool color and all of a sudden you look a little bit less yellow. That might be the trigger that you need to realize what I realized and it was huge. So I definitely recommend spending some time doing that for yourself. So now that you know your undertone, you need to look at your hair and eye color to determine if it's naturally light or dark. And then combining this with your undertone gives you one of four seasons. So if you have a cool undertone, dark hair, dark eyes, and a lot of contrast, you're probably a winter. If you have a cool undertone, light hair, light eyes, you're probably a summer. If you have a warm undertone, light hair, and light eyes, you're probably a spring. And then if you have a warm undertone with dark hair and dark eyes, it's likely that you are an autumn. So as you can tell, this method leaves out quite a few combinations and there's a lot that aren't included in the four basic seasons. So it was updated to include, I think, 13 overall. And that takes into account one other piece of the puzzle. So the updated version includes your hue, which is either warm or cool, your value, which is light or deep, and then your chroma, which is either clear or muted. And that gives us the 12 new categories. So your unique balance of these three can help you determine the colors that have similar characteristics and in theory will work harmonious with you. So for example, I have light olive skin, so that's gonna be cool. I have very dark, almost black hair and very dark ashy brown eyes. And so this combination makes me very clearly a winter and more specifically a deep winter. And it's very obvious as soon as I put on deep winter colors. I'm wearing one of those today and everything just looks 
balanced. I find that I need to wear less makeup. I feel awake, even if I'm not, <laughs> even if I got very little sleep, I feel very bright eyed. And it's something that's really, really fun to figure out because even if you use it for nothing else than just to have the information, it's cool. I think it's really, really nice to understand colors and you can start to spot them, especially as you're walking outside, you'll start to notice certain flowers are cool, certain flowers are warm, and mother nature typically puts warm colors together and cool colors together. So it's just fun to notice. I really enjoy it. So why is this helpful to understand? And even if you don't implement it in your own life, still have a relatively good hold on it so that you don't fall prey to marketing and things like that, we're gonna go over a couple of the main reasons that I've personally identified. So color theory can help you shop, especially online, because good stylists and brands will often put things together that will complement the model modeling it. So they're gonna put them in their power color or their complementary color. This makes the item look fantastic and it's very easy to think, ooh, I love that, I'm definitely gonna look great in that just because the model looks amazing in it, but really it will clash with your own personal coloring. So when you get it, you might be confused and not be able to understand why you thought it was gonna be perfect. Maybe the cut is great, the material is great, but there's just something not quite there. It very likely could be down to the color. It can also help us distinguish if we don't like a piece of clothing because of how it fits, the shape, the cut, or if it's just because of the color. So this can make decluttering a lot easier and less confusing and allow us to reduce repeat purchases that end up not working because you become more familiar with what works for you. So you get the magic hit of clothing that is a great material, a nice fit, a nice cut, and a color that works with your lifestyle and your personal coloring. So when you put it on, you feel great. Now, of course, it's not important that you wear your colors and the colors that are harmonious with you. That's not what's so what I want you to take away from this. Instead, I just want you to have a tool that you can use to maybe identify why things haven't been working in the past. It can be really helpful. And as soon as you start to train your eye, I think you'll open your sights to a lot of things you've maybe been unsure of about your own personal wardrobe. So along those same lines, it's also helpful to know the colors that make you look and feel amazing for the days that you don't feel your best and maybe you need a quick pick me up. Maybe you have an important meeting or a job interview and you wanna make a great lasting first impression and wearing your power color really does that. The human eye reads everything is very harmonious and it just makes it feel very pleasing to look at. So of course there are instances when we all want to look and feel that way so it can be helpful for those. And then the last main point that I think is important to note is makeup shopping. When you're shopping for makeup it's so important to know your individual coloring, your undertone, your overtone and all that stuff that can be hard to identify at first but once you figure it out it's life-changing. It can allow you to really pinpoint on the things you know are gonna work, and again, not fall prey to marketing and great packaging. And then it's also really helpful to wear your complementary colors when shopping for makeup. I know personally, if you're like me and you have a slightly golden overtone to your skin, it can make makeup shopping very confusing <laughs> if you wear a color that really enhances the yellow in your skin rather than set it back slightly. So I know in the past I've worn colors that really bring out the golden tones in my skin and I've been matched incorrectly to very yellow based foundations. They end up oxidizing and really like contrasting negatively with the green in my skin because I do have olive skin overall. And it just, it ends up in a lot of wasted money and a lot of impulse buys that don't really end up working for me. So I think it's a very important to tool to have in your arsenal specifically for makeup shopping. It's also good to know how you can wear makeup to play with colors that maybe aren't your key colors. So if you're wearing a color that's a big no-no in this color theory, you can make it work by wearing complementary colors in your makeup. So a great lip color that complements you, eye color, cheek color, etc. And there you have it. That is a really quick rundown of seasonal color theory and how you can use it to not only identify colors for your own wardrobe, but also maybe understand why some things just haven't been working for you. So I would love to know in the comments down below what you think about seasonal color analysis. Is it something that's been helpful for you or do you find it completely limiting and you just toss it all out the window? Definitely let me know. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.